Oh, 11. Uh, okay. Four. Yes, thank you. Oh, four. The DM, probably. Away. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea, and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. So... Bruce. Um... After yes. our little talk at your office... I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So... I've been working on this in my spare time. I know you said I needed to train, but... I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. para aramid synthetic lining. Photo-adaptive suit coloring. Full-spectrum, full-surround heads-up display. Mm -hmm. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. Oh, what is this? I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. Yes. So I designed you this. Oh. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. Batman doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean, at all? I guess I've never seen you use one. But I didn't realize that was, like, a rule. I don't use a gun, because Batman doesn't kill. Okay, I get it. Still. Criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? Just to even the odds. It's a no-brainer. I don't let myself think about it. Once I go down that path. You don't need to say anything else. Listen, See, I think that, that, that's I true to Batman. I just got so caught up in the design. If he allows himself to kill, then I have a lot left to learn. It might get bloody be fast. Some hard on yourself. Mm. Oh, Harley, mm, good job. The old uh, bonus bros carnival. I have to go. We'll be waiting right here. Bonus Brothers Carnival, eleven twenty-eight p.m. John, how am I not surprised that the clowns would come here? Nice place. They seem happy.
America. Oh, what? Well, I didn't even get to check anything else. Or what? Maybe I still can. Dr. Quinzel. This is Harley's. Oh, I thought it was someone else's. Guess you're my age. Well, I got the guns to prove it. A very nice place. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Now, was this place always like this, or has it been a uh, Joker fight? Judgment. Let me see your hands, John. Don't, don't be angry with me, Bruce. Please, just hear me out. What happened? Is Harley here? She left, just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up! I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. I completely read 
decorated, didn't I? <laughs> I wonder what Harlan would think of the new color scheme. <laughs> <clears throat> You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, huh. really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in. You can be straight with me, John. Why couldn't I be telling you the truth? If I hadn't fought them off, I'd be the one lying in a pool of blood. You... you, you believe me, don't you? Because if we don't have trust, what do we really have? It's, it's the foundation of any healthy relationship. John, there's mm. more to the store than you're letting on. What the heck? You're supposed to be on my side! I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows. One way, and it isn't towards me. You've made that very clear by now. Yeah, it is off balance, but not the way you're saying. You are the one surrounded by corpses. Corpse? It's all my fault. Why should Bruce Wayne have to take responsibility for anything? I should have known things were wrong when you drank Harley's slushy. You still hold on to that? You. I was in love. You've been using me from the start. At least have the decency to admit it. The least you can do is come clean about that. I'm not stupid, Bruce. Mm -hmm. Please, please, don't feed me any more lies. Okay. Maybe I have been using you. I'm sorry, John, but there's more at stake here than your feelings. Uh, it's like Dr. Leland always said. Never demean another person's emotions! I don't want to fight. John? <laughs> I know you can fight better than that. What do you need your bat suit to really get you in the mood? What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal. Bat. Can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. You kind of gave it away with the laptop. I mean, then yeah, kind of. You fell on your own sword to save Catsy. As if I needed more proof. Well done, John. You figured it out. I have to say, I'm impressed. Only because you underestimate me. <laughs> I never miss a trick. Mm. It all Sorry if I'm not talking much. I don't know. Here. It's very juicy. You think you can use that against me? This scene. As blackmail. Oh, I would never. We're two threads in the same stitch. Remember. Bound together. Even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone. Which means she's getting out of town, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, this was self-defense. One more time, 
You do believe me, don't you? You still have faith <laughs> in me, don't you? Your old buddy John? Just in case it's timed, I want to pause for a second and let out my thoughts. It's really hard because, you know, he's, he's, he's the Joker, so it's like, you know, and all that talk. Unsure story. But it's also the agency. You know, so I wouldn't be... It wouldn't be out of my mind that they could possibly, you know, be, I'm not sure if this is time, but I just want to make sure it's not, or, you know, just make sure I don't run out of time and it makes the a decision for me. But anywho, yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if the agency did, you know, just go gun ho for the sake of it. But I mean, it's the Joker shot in the back, you know, it's really hard to say that, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, but I do have faith that he would stop Harley if he says it to me. I don't know, man. I, uh, I don't know. This is a hard choice that, uh, I don't, it feels like you really have to kind of force yourself to believe that this is self defense for the sake of making the other choice. Where the other one, you know, it's like it's, it's Joker, it fits that he would, you know, like, kind of manipulate and stuff. But this is, you know, before he was the Joker and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know an honest choice. I'll be fair. Because it's like I want to believe it. But my heart, you know, yeah, you got I could flip a coin, but then you know that's leaving it up to fight and <laughs> And also, I kind of know that a lot of, you know, majority choice people freaking choose to believe him. So it's like I could make the opposite choice. What would fit better with the story? Because that's also the big question. Is that, uh, you know, this whole, you know, season has that secondary dynamic. The thing that's been building in the background is the relationship between John and Bruce. And I've played that where, I tried to play it where I'm, I, you know, I have faith in him, I trust him, I know I'm using him, but I still want to help him be a friend. I, and, you know, trusting him would be the end choice, so that... I guess, I guess for how I'm playing it, the choice would be that I would trust him. I, I believe. So I'm going to choose that, I guess. This is a mess. And we are gonna need to talk about it more. But... I believe you. Let's get out of here, huh? Before anyone else shows up. Agree! All these fuzzy emotions are giving me indigestion. We've got to catch up with Harley before these murderous agents find her. 
She's got explosives and the virus. If they start shooting, things could get really exciting. Oh, boy! <laughs> if I had known these were your wheels, I never would have stolen that beater. Well, I mean, the beater was four seats. That could fit the three of us, so, you know. But it also had those cool, really freaking blacked out windows to the point where you can't see anything for some reason in the latest version of the game because I remember that there, in the previous versions you could see right through those windows, no problem, and you can see, you know, people... T anyway, Gotham Bridge, 12, 16 a.m. Wayne, about time you showed up. What in the good goddamn is he doing here? Director Waller, John Doe's, uh, been aiding Bruce's investigations. This creature's with you? Amanda Waller, meet John Doe. He's a trusted friend. I'm, uh, I'm here to defuse the situation. I have my doubts, but hell, at this point, I'll try anything. Harley's making demands we simply can't meet. Her detonator's on a dead man's switch. She lets it go. This bridge is history. This situation is rapidly spiraling out of control. I'm running out of options. Harley is heading towards a cliff, and she's gonna drag all of us with her. I can talk her off the ledge. Just give me a moment. She won't listen. All she wants is Riddler's goddamn blood. And that's gone. One of my own people destroyed. Maybe I can, but John, he can. The, the serum Quinn wanted to make is off the table for good. Let me try. <sighs> Give it a shot, Lewis. See what you can do. Stand down, people. Let him through. Well, well, Bruce Wayne. Harley. You made it out of the icebox. Good for you. Should have guessed you were working with Walla. Had me fooled. Up to a point. All I want is Riddler's blood. I get it. I leave Gotham for good. That agency hell beast says she don't got it, but I know she's lying through her teeth. Her people took it from the Leia. The serum you're trying to make, it doesn't do what you think it does. How do you know about that? Because I looked into it. It does as much harm as it does good, maybe more. Harley, you're a doctor. You have to understand. It destroys your brain chemistry. Uh-huh. Sure. You're gonna tell me you love me, Wayne? <laughs> oh, me. I'm, I'm spoken for. I romance when I'm getting screwed. What? I'm holding all the goddamn cards. Either they give me what I want, or I play the one that goes boom. I ain't fooling around. I'll do it without a second thought. I know why you're doing this, Harley. If you're afraid of inheriting your father's illness, I can help you find a cure. You don't know me, Wayne. You did. You know better than to bring up my dear old dad. Bruce, what the hell are you doing? 
Harley does not like talking about such personal things. Stand down! want my head on a stick! You can do it, John. I believe in you. I won't let you down. I have everything worked out. Up here. Trust me. I've learned from the best. Okay, just... Just what? Mm. Tell her what she wants to hear. You mean I should ignore what you said in the cafe? About being myself? Whatever it takes to make her give up that detonator. That sounds like a terrible idea, Bruce. Harley will see straight through me if I try anything shady. Hey, don't worry about a thing. With all these people watching, how can I not live up to the occasion? Well, here's hoping nothing bad happens. Those two reprobates getting their heads together is a recipe for a disaster. What were you thinking? John said it himself. He knows her better than anyone. As long as he keeps her talking, there's still a chance she won't blow the bridge. There's truth in that. Not enough to inspire confidence, but it's better than nothing. going south. We're gonna shut this down right now. If we interfere now, we could push her right back into Harley's arms. If we don't, everyone on this bridge mm. will die. Stand by to move in, people. Alpha team, move into flank. Take your positions. Look for a clean shot. What the hell do you think you're doing? You gotta trust him, Waller. I'm telling you, he'll come through. With a marriage proposal, maybe. Not a successful resolution to the crisis at hand. You need to have faith. Have Stay goddamn down. faith. You backstabbing piece of crap! Don't struggle, Harley. They think you're a fighter. They're gonna put you in the hole. I'm gonna rip your head off. You two damn it, son of a... Get her out of here. How could you, John? You broke my heart. Bruce showed me how to be good, Harley. In a way you... Thank you for your help, Mr. Doe. You did a great job. The virus, please. I don't think so. I don't think anyone should have this. Least of all you. Hey, you know, that's well, true. Then, we'll no longer be requiring your service. No! Oh. What are you doing? He helped us. You betrayed me after I saved the day. <sighs> Agency people! You're just the worst! Find that bag! And get Quinn in the truck immediately! Where's Wayne? I want him secured! Subdue him if you have to! What? Subdue me? Oh, hey, how you doing? Justice, but you're liars and you're murderers and you're so 
so goddamn rude. Rude again. What's wrong with this thing? Come on. Let's just work. Yes! That's what I want to see. Episode 4, what ails you? Did I make good choices? Who knows? I'm trying to play how I feel the story should go and how I was playing before, you know. I, whatever, I explained it all. You and 45.2% of players left Tiffany feeling apologetic. Tiffany felt solemn after learning about Batman's code. You left Tiffany feeling apologetic for questioning Batman's code. You and 63.64.3% of players set John down the path of being a vigilante. John was despondent when you said you were trying to help in the subway. He appreciated that you allowed him to leave to find Harley by himself. You have earned John's trust and has, and he has vowed that the two of you will clean Gotham up together. You and 71.5% of players left Waller livid. She was combative when you made excuses about how poorly things went with the fact. You irritated Waller when you said she shouldn't use the Sanctus tech. She became livid after you sided with John on the bridge. You and 75.1% of players left Alfred feeling proud. That's true one of the two choices i really care about you know tiffany's great great and all she's kind of like a close third but john and alfred and catwoman you know too yeah alfred was grateful when you helped him up off the floor you made him cheerful with the mention of a vacation alfred was proud when you advised tiffany a thought a thoughtfully about a batman's code you and 57.3% of players left Vesta feeling gratified. She was relieved that you didn't hold the fact that she told Waller your identity against her. She was understanding about your pragmatic approach to Batman's code. She was gratified by your concern when you con cautioned her about destroying Riddler's blood. Did friggin' you and 94.7% uh, of players showed Mr. Freeze compassion by lowering the temperature in the airlock? You and 86.9% of players told John you trusted him to find Harley by himself. And that's all that matters. Well, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode, you beautiful bastards. I'm very tempted to maybe make a little, you know, alternate universe save file or something where, you know, I don't trust John. Maybe upload those videos since I know episode five, like, pretty much varies entirely differently depending on which version you get. So it's tempting to make videos out of that. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the final episode, you beautiful bastards. But, until then, bye bye